All right, so we've done an individual piece with the Edward masks. I have my mask set here. And we did the ball turret. And we painted it, took all the masks off. came out pretty good. The next clear parts are trickier. These are the clear parts that are actually attached to the aircraft. And you got to be really careful because you get one shot at these. If you mess the clear parts up, you either got to get new ones or you got to sand it, polish it, you know, and fix it, which can be a real pain. So what we're going to do is I'll start out with the greenhouse here on the tail section where the tail gunner is. And the way I approach this is I take the clear part and I clean it up and then I take a scraper. I've got a little chisel knife blade here. And I go in and I clean off the paint where the parts are going to glue together. Remember, you don't want paint in between the bond. So we'll do that. We'll clean that up. And I'll glue this on. And then I'll put the masks on. And the reason I do it in that um, sequence is I don't want to put the masks on and then glue. Because glue could get under the mask and ruin it. So I'm going to glue the part on, let it dry. Then I'm going to put the masks on and I'm going to do every clear piece on this aircraft, then paint the whole thing. Okay? So let's get going. We'll do the mask on this tail piece, and I'll show you how that goes. Okay, so the first step's going to be test fitting this part. And this piece has little tabs on it that line up inside of the edge on the airplane. And I must have did a fairly good job putting this together because the piece fits in really nicely. So test fit your part. Always test fit, make sure it fits. Then what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this little chisel brush. You can see this is a, uh, a little modeling knife and it's a chisel, like a little square. And you want a small one so that it fits in. And what I'm going to do is, and I hope you guys can see this, inside of here are, is a ledge that runs all the way around where the glass fits in. I'm going to take my, my scraper here and I'm just going to go in and scrape the edges so that there's no paint on them, okay? So I'll scrape those off. Then what I'm gonna do is put this in place, and this time make sure it's really in there right, correctly. And then I'm gonna use, I think, this Tamiya liquid quick setting cement so that it dries fast. I don't want, you know, any chance of me screwing up or marring the, the clear part. So I'm just gonna take the Tamiya, open it up, and run it right along the edge where I just cleaned off. Glue it in place and then conveniently the masks for the tail gunner's greenhouse are on the same sheet that we used for the ball turret. You can see the ball turret pieces are out of it. These are up here. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to clean this up, glue it in place, and put the masks on Then I'll show you how that looks. I've completed masking the B-17. We've used the Edward masks, which you see here, and we've done precision masking on all the window areas so that when we paint it and pull the masks off, all the framing will be painted and nice and neatly. So you can see everything is masked very neatly. All the windows are glued in, and we are ready for paint. Things are getting exciting. So the next step will be putting paint on this airplane. It's been a long haul, but we're ready.